Seat belts are nearly as old as powered flight. The need to restrain aircraft occupants became obvious as soon as unusual attitudes and inverted flight were realized by pioneer aviators. Whether simple lap belts or sophisticated harnesses, any model's aircrew perch is improved by well-represented seat belts. Most modern plastic kit seats have molded on interpretations of the genuine article, but these typically lack detail and fail to impart the look of a functional belt lying across a seat. While skillful painting can help improve the effect, nothing can surpass a purpose-made strap to simulate the real thing. This presentation is just one suggestion of how to create your own belts and harnesses in your next modeling project by employing fine grain milliput two-part epoxy putty. Here's what you'll need to take on this project. Mix together equal parts from each stick. Knead the mixture together until the colors merge and become uniform so that no streaks can be seen. After combining, lightly dust your work surface with talcum powder. Coat the milliput to avoid sticking. Roll out the putty with a tube or cylindrical shape until it attains the thickness of a piece of heavy paper. Here we're using a section of PVC pipe. Allow the rolled milliput to sit for 15 to 20 minutes so that it stiffens slightly. After allowing the putty to rest, roll a few additional times to smooth the flattened surfaces and attain the final thickness. The smaller the scale, the thinner you'll want the putty to be. Using a straight edge, cut the flattened putty into strips as needed. Similarly, cut the ends of the straps to the desired length using a sharp scalpel or hobby knife. To install your custom-made belts, moisten a fine paintbrush with water. This will allow the brush to pick up the belt so you won't have to worry about damaging it with your fingers. Position the belts according to your reference material. Considerable license can be taken to impart anything from a casual, just used look to a carefully prepared pre flight seat awaiting its pilot. One advantage of using Milliput for this purpose is that you don't need to glue each piece in place, as the damp putty acts as its own adhesive and allows for almost infinite adjustment prior to the putty setting. In a like manner, Smaller lengths of rolled putty can be added to simulate guide loops and adjustment points. Repeat the processes needed to achieve the appearance you desire. Additional finishing touches such as buckles and fasteners may be fabricated from thin plastic, cardstock, or photo etch. Happy modeling.